Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got some more crypto scamming going on, guys. I always say in my videos, take every YouTuber, everything you see on Twitter, all that stuff, it's entertainment only. Do your own research. Don't do the FOMO, I'm gonna miss out, I gotta buy in. Uh, do your research on people that recommend mining pools, uh, certain things, uh, crypto software for mining. Because under the hood, there may be massive fees. You just don't know unless you dig down and say, oh, this guy was uh, suggesting this coin. Well, that's not even a real coin. What the heck? Why would I waste time buying it or mining it and or going to that pool? Just be cautious. So let's jump into it. We have a popular YouTuber that I never heard of. He orchestrated a crypto scam to steal 500K from fans and shamelessly buy a new Tesla with the money. So let's jump into it here in a uh, apparent, apparent, apparent crypto fraud. A popular game streamer known from Twitch and YouTube. I think he's kicked off Twitch, which is owned by Amazon, right? Uh, has allegedly, allegedly scammed his fans out of half a million dollars by creating his own cryptocurrency and employing a simple pump and dump, baby, scheme. Instead of returning the money, he decided to buy himself an expensive new Tesla. That's redundant. Expensive. Tesla, they're all expensive. Even with the federal greenie card kickback, whatever that is, energy electric car kickback. Uh, pump and dump, baby. Doesn't that remind you of something? Look back in 2017, we got BitConnect. And that was the old pump and dump Ponzi scheme type thing and some other crap out there. Uh, you just got to be careful, folks. All right, yeah, crypto. this is true. Cryptocurrency uh, scams are undoubtedly on the rise. Yeah, it's your money, and they want to take it from you, and nobody cares more about your money than you do. So you got to be careful. Treat all this crap on YouTube as entertainment only. Even these price predictor guys with millions of subs, they don't know what they're talking about. It's going to go to 100K. Mm, yeah, maybe in 50 years. They were all saying it's going to go to 100K by the end of the year. Uh, they could go backwards and go forwards. They could go sideways. Go, stop it. Stop the madness. All right. I'm not going to buy your stupid coin. I'm going to stick with the top 10 coins, right? All right. So the guy that broke this is uh, Kotaku. He um, he was saying the well-known streamer Ice Poseidon, which is really Danino, Paul Danino, has managed to steal a whopping 500k from his fans by convincing them to invest in CX coin, a cryptocurrency that he apparently created solely for his pump and dump scheme. After he reassured his fans that this would be a long-term investment, the streamer who goes by the name Paul Danino pulled the rug, which caused the CX coin cryptocurrency to nosedive to a value of basically nothing. Yeah, I've seen this before. Human nature just repeats itself, man. There's only so many conditions of human nature, and this is one of them. Oh, my God. Just hyping things up, pulling the rug out, profiting and running. All right. Then deny, deny, deny. Oh, let's see. He netted 500K with the scam. He said he paid 200K for the developers who helped in the scheme. And then he spent used the rest to buy himself a brand new Tesla. All right. He even streamed when he went to pick up the Tesla. Yeah, because they don't care. I mean, if he was smart, he would have just deleted his whole accounts and uh, not streamed and just disappeared, right? But oh well, now he's out. He's going to get lit up because people are upset with this. So he purportedly admitted to the cryptocurrency scam, but, 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 but quickly tried to put the blame on his over-emotional fans while insisting that he would keep most of the money to himself, even though he technically could return all of it to the victims. He would be a great politician. Yeah, dude, you missed your calling, brother. Go down and be a politician. You'll fit right in. All right. So let's go to the summation. There's another article. So people are on this guy. Uh, let's see. He was on stream. And then uh, let's see. He was booted from there. And then there, everyone's complaining about him. He's getting some pushback. So what happened this time? Uh, Coffeezilla a YouTuber who investigates fraudsters and scams, he posted a 23-minute video breaking it down. So go check out CoffeeZilla's YouTube video on this uh, on this guy. In short, Ice Poseidon tricked his followers to invest in CX Coin, a platform the streamer founded for content creators to get cryptocurrency donations. 
Yeah, never do a cryptocurrency for charities or donations. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, then he pulled the rug out from everyone and they were left holding the bag while he had the cash. You know, there was nothing left basically in the exchange or whatever for people to cash out. Uh, he took that money, 500K in total, pocketed 300K and allegedly bought a Tesla. Okay, you get the gist of it. There's f We're five minutes into this. So Ice Poseidon, dun, 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 Ice Poseidon, he breaks his silence since being accused of the crypto scam. I warned people before I launched it. Ice Poseidon breaks silence after being accused of 500,000 crypto scam. I guess that's how he sounds like. I have no idea. I'm just making it up. All right. He denied all accusations of scamming his fans. Here we go. I, I warned people before I launched it <laughs> that it was an extremely risky and a volatile thing and to make sure they, 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 they understand when to buy if they choose. <laughs> that's him. That's Paul. I heard. Yeah, yeah that's him. <laughs> oh, my God. This is this is nuts. He denies claims of scamming after staying silent. He's spoken about the failure of, the, of his cryptocurrency project, CX coin, and the money the fans had invested into it. Yeah, he gives you this crap. And, you know, he's just doubling down, doubling down. Uh, he insisted it wasn't a rug pull or a scam, stating he did make 300K from the whole venture, but not at the expense of any of fans or holders. Well, where'd you get the money then? Ice Poseidon CX coin project is effectively dead. With the YouTuber pulling the plug just a few weeks after it went live, despite having promised many that it would be a long-term project, several have pointed out how he secured 300000 leaving the project while his investors have not had the same pleasure. Yeah, pull the rug out, baby. So when he promised, guys, guess how, how did he promise? Did you get it in writing? Did you get a contract? Did you get a signature guarantee? No, you got words on YouTube. So... Fire beware. I mean, I'm on the fence in this one. You guys fell for a scam. You got scammed. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying you got to be careful out there. And he won't give the money back. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. I could give the money back. It is within my power. But I'm going to look out for myself and not do that. Who knows? CoffeeZilla posted a follow-up story showing that the 155000 uh, Ice Poseidon allegedly promised to return has not been given back yet. All right, that's enough of this story. You guys get the gist. Watch out. Be careful. YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, all that stuff. It's entertainment only. Don't fall for it. People recommend mining pools, stuff like that. Double check what you're getting into. The pools could be charging extra fees you don't know about. They could be skimming. You just don't know. The mining software people recommend. Double check. They, you know, When it starts up, are they taking more off than they said they would take off? You know, there's always that unknown just don't blindly believe somebody you know download not even trust but verify doubt but verify right is that a fair saying all right that's all i got thought this was an interesting story please go over to the coffeezilla youtube channel and watch that video you yeah, check it out here it is the full ice poseidon interrogation all right i'm out take care